July 17th, St. Alexius. St. Alexius, born in Rome in the 4th century, was the only son of parents preeminent among the Roman rulers for both their virtue and their great wealth. They were particularly noted for almsgiving. Three tables were prepared every day for all who came for assistance, pilgrims, the poor, and the sick. Their son, fruit of their prayers, was married with splendid feasting to a noble young lady of the imperial family, but on his wedding night, by God's special inspiration, he secretly left Rome, longing for a solitude where he could serve God alone. He went to Edessa in the Far East, gave away all that he had brought with him, content thereafter to live by alms at the gate of Our Lady's church in that city. His family, in deepest grief, could not fathom the mystery of his disappearance, and would have been consoled if God had taken him instead through death. It came to pass that the servants of St. Alexius, whom his father had sent in search of him, arrived in Edessa, and seeing him among the poor at the gate of Our Lady's church, gave him an alms not recognizing him. Whereupon the man of God rejoicing said, I thank you, Lord, who have called me, and granted that I should receive, for your name's sake, an alms from my own slaves. Deign to fulfill in me the work you have begun. After seventeen years spent at the portico of the church, when his sanctity was miraculously confirmed by the Blessed Virgin speaking through her image to an officer of the church, St. Alexius once more sought obscurity by flight. On his way to Tarsus, contrary winds drove his ship to Rome. There, no one recognized him, this pale and tattered vagabond, the heir of Rome's noblest house, not even his sorrowing parents, who had vainly sent throughout the world in search of him. From his own father's charity, St. Alexius begged a miserable shelter in his palace, under a staircase, with the leavings of his table as food. There he spent another seventeen years, bearing patiently the mockery and ill usage of his own servants, and witnessing daily the still inconsolable grief of his spouse and parents. At last, when death had ended this cruel martyrdom, they learned too late who it was that they had unknowingly sheltered. A voice was heard by all in attendance at the Pope's Mass, saying, seek ye the man of god he will pray for rome and the lord will be favorable to it he will die on friday all the city undertook in vain to find this unknown saint but god had commanded alexius himself to write down his life story and sign it in this way he himself confirmed his servant's sanctity when he was found lifeless in his retreat holding that document in his hand the pope read aloud what was written on the parchment of the saint and everywhere in rome there was a single cry of admiration impossible to describe the house of alexis's father was later transformed into a church dedicated to saint alexius and saint boniface and the staircase suspended above an altar under which he had lived for seventeen years is enshrined there as a relic saint alexius is also known as the man of god he is the patron saint of beggars belt makers nurses pilgrims and travellers pictures of saint alexius are frequently seen in hospitals and refuges for the poor